Salutations, my good people, and welcome to an experience so exuberant and stimulating that it will shatter your dopamine levels, leaving you as codependent as a crocodile addict, thus replacing any pleasant memory that you have ever acquainted with. And once you have participated in this game, the inordinate hype that courses through your anatomy will ultimately allow you to remain an emotionally vapid and desolate being. <laughs> now, this is epic. Now if you possess fully functional optical sensory organs, then you might immediately tell what game this is. But for those without such pleasantries, or are just listening because you are in the process of making yourself a rather delectable bowl of cereal, then allow me the honor of presenting Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. The game that stuffs your ass balls deep with high voltage action, containing soundtracks that are able to make a doom guy ejaculate in ecstasy, and gameplay that siphons so much adrenaline into your veins that it fundamentally interchanges your capability of rational thought with the satisfying sensation of ripping out synthetic spines. Metal Gear Rising is a hack and slash that was developed by Kojima Productions and Platinum Games, with its publisher being Konami. Those goddamn bastards. We assume control of the cyborg Raiden, real name Jack, carving up any frivolous creature that crosses our path in this blood-filled devastation, because truthfully, it's the only thing I know for real. There will be blood. Shit. Thus, we all must come to the realization that violence breeds violence. But in the end, it has to be this way. So let's perceive just how much sentient blood bags and paths we can carve in Metal Gear Rising. Revengeance. We inaugurate this journey with a tutorial where we comprehend our movement and controls and casually turn this poor bastard into minced meat. Oh my goodness, I sh oh, oh man, oh, sorry dude, I didn't mean to do this. Ah, uh, ah uh, man, ah, uh, no, ah, uh, Jesus. Ah, uh, man. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Oh, I reached a thousand, okay. Ah. Uh, Truly, a miraculous display of fine culinary arts. After our cooking assimilation, we are positioned into a cutscene. And while it is a rather intriguing cinematic sequence, it's also rather long. So instead, let me provide a prompt elucidation on what the current situation is whilst demonstrating bits and pieces. Sounds good? Well, alright then. This is the Prime Minister, and this cool sexy specified guy is us, Raiden. We are tasked with the obligation of providing the Prime Minister high-ranking security. Everything advances as well intended, until abruptly, this absolute fucking unit comes presenting a disturbance. We quickly come to the realization that we're kind of fucked, as this organized attack is being distributed by genetically enhanced cyborgs. And now, Guard the Prime Minister. well, we have to beat some ass, quite frankly. Thus, we initiate a plethora of slicing and dicing, punctually shredding any conscious colostomy bag enhanced with cyberware. 
thoroughly turning them into corrosive mists of blood. Looking real stupid now. How do you like that, huh? How do you like them apples? Look at you. You're dead now. After the putrid violence, we witness as shit goes to shit even further. This, of course, leaves us prepared and poised for an appropriate boss fight, pussy. In order to rescue the Prime Minister, taking down this absolute Goliath is a rather prominent must. Now let's achieve that, shall we? I begin with a calculated evasiveness as to adjust and assess the appropriate combative measures. We will rely heavily on our ninja run as this will be capable of deflecting incoming fire and it will also act as our dodge. Once we approach the Metal Gear, we begin assaulting its feet, as that will be the key in breaking down its defensive armor and dealing damage. Once we have comprehended what we must do, the next objective is to fucking die. What is going on? Enter. Um, multiple times even. Ah, but... Then all this happens. Now wasn't that just fucking pure, unadulterated hype? Well, we cannot rest yet, for we must apprehend the tech-juiced bastard that has captured the Prime Minister. We do a little bit of Metal Gear parkour. And then, the dismembered UG makes a grand returnal. But this time, it will not escape the hype grasp of carnage and death. We land ourselves into some collective cutscenes.
front of the train. After him. Prime huh. Minister. Saying, give war a chance. Hey, whoa, that's not very nice. Put the prime minister down, no. nice and safely. Let him go. After attending the death of the prime minister, we are required to complete the evisceration of the cybernetic fuckers. Our first victim is this mechanical bastard, Sam. Should be rather simple, for we obtain the more than adequate skills to vanquish this robo-dick. At least, that is what I would wish to state. But, uh, we are getting our ass beat. Like, badly. Oh, that was my one good eye. Yep. That was a little uneven. You know, just, uh... Um, Give me your sword instead. That was my one good arm. I'm gonna go over here and lay down real quick. You stay there. You stay there. I'm just gonna go lay down. With that, we conclude our guard duty, which, might I say, an outstanding combat ring. Time elapses as we advance three weeks, and once our objectives have been established, Bird! Bird rocket. <laughs> Just relax and enjoy the ride. Can you hear me right? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One. Absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Slice them open, extract their fluids. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. Excuse me? The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Excuse me? Desperado Enforcement LLC. Oh. It's Jetstream Sam. I believe you've met. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Got like a fucking bike tire t wrapped around our head and our eye. We are looking clean, right and clean. We head towards the indicated waypoint, but get interfered by a preliminary trio of abusable bionic flesh. Thus, Operation Taking What's Mine and Ripping Out Spines has been authorized. About some more spines.
safe because I'd never want to do that ever again. After some much requisite chiropractic implementation, we are now prepared and poised for an appropriate boss fight, pussy. Our opponent happens to be I have prototype MQ84I Who is Funky Step Kong level of cool coat, you gonna fuck around and drown off this way and has an absolute banger to accompany Exterminate We begin this fight as any other. Two entities of equivalent skills, just kidding, I'm fucking ass. And he consumes my pathetic life points with a true combo. However, my struggle was a valiant effort. And while the sought out triumph was not accomplished in this attempt, I dare say I delivered some deliberately hefty blows. Carving down Chainsaw Doggo, down to 16%. Therefore, in the subsequent trial, I utilized my comprehension of the previous fight, along with my utmost keen tactical wits and combative dexterity, to claim triumph in an overwhelming manner. We strike with gravitas, distributing enough damage to make the chainsaw doggle call for reinforcements. And after the events of eradicating the hybrid flesh suits, he descends into another ass beating. This time, I diminish his health down to a comfortable 39%, which brings about his secondary aid, the autonomous tank on steroids. This too fails to avail the chainsaw doggo's desired results. beginning the final battle. You can tell because the music begins to go like this. What would an AI know about freedom? <laughs> we advance further in pursuit of the objective. But first, we are assailed by a group of attack helicopters. So, yeah. Run right in. What? 
think we're dead. After the matter, we make it to the cutscene, where we notice someone particularly intriguing. That woman. Huh? Wow, she's viciously appealing. I hope in all my naivety, I don't have the misfortune of fighting her which in case would lead me into an egregious struggle that would most definitely have me contemplate my piteous existence, wondering what my accumulated worth is, and having to inquire whether or not I'm just wasting oxygen. Fortunately, the probability of that occurring is quite infinitesimal, almost frivolous. Anyways, fuck this guy in particular. We've arrived. Let the torment commence. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. Dosayev. I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Damn straight multiple times. Can you stop making those weird noises? You're making me uncomfortable. I'm here to kill you, not to make you climax. But wait, for a moment's notice, I would like to exclaim when this renowned torment began. For if your attention is detailed, then you will notice that I was fiercely cooking. Well, more so boiling the water, but fierce cooking nonetheless. You see, this move right here, this evasive slash or whatever it is I'm throwing out, was a godlike savior, worthy of being worshipped by any illustrious cultist group. For this maneuvering mincing saved me a countless quantity of times from rectum destruction throughout the whole game. Yes, baby, give me that shit. I don't know how to use it whatsoever. I don't know, maybe it'll come in handy, who knows. Shit is goaded S tier. However, I digress. As for the point of this rather extensive showcase, was to pinpoint when my soul started refusing cooperation, for it knew the deliberate torture that I would undergo. Anyways, it was here, in this segment when everything turned into a 2D fighter and I was in severely unfavorable circumstances. Meaning, I couldn't use that evasive slash or whatever. Right, 
fucking Christmas in my group animation! Yes, I am ass. Yes, I do possess the intellect of an underdeveloped baboon. No, I'm not tall. Yes, I'm only 5'9". No, I don't have a prospering future. Of course, I used a YouTube tutorial for this boss fight, only for it to advise me that my skills are inadequate. But with all of these realizing failures, there happens to constantly be a warm, subtle light that will forever try to embrace you, and only a fool rejects it. Never refuse this hope, this pleasantry, for it shall never refuse you. And through this muddled distraught that buries you with suffocating force consuming you, from within, leaving you incapable of drawing breath, causing a crippling affliction and discomfort that you're clawing at your lungs, begging for them to rupture, finally pinning a relieving conclusion. Take comfort in the envelopment of the light, of hope, for unwavering failure breeds indomitable Triumph!
In conclusion, this game is Augmented Stimulation Incarnate. Any jubilation that you may experience in life can be derived from this game alone. I will most certainly be returning to this game and achieve its full completion. But I must admit something. You see, in the last segment of my playthrough, on the boss fight against Mistral, I, I really hope that's a well enough pronunciation, I inadvertently succeeded. If you witnessed, I was dispatching a lot more parries and blocks than I could have managed previously. Now the reason for this achievement was not because I suddenly became competent, no. It was because in the midst of this battle, I was actually attempting to present this move as punishment instead. And as you may be able to perceive, Thunderstrike requires me to flick the left analog stick down and up with the concluding command being the attack button. In trying to perform this action, it would appear that the timing was precise enough to produce a block or a parry. Therefore, leading into my triumphant victory, I got fucking lucky. Anyways, the game is great. Even for the approximate three and a half hours that I played through, I could fathom myself participating in its entirety. Multiple times even. Shit had me like. <laughs> the gameplay, the mechanics, the absolute sensory orgasmic soundtrack, all intermingled into an overflowing, condensed package of culminating satisfaction. As to not take a more considerable amount of time than necessary, I will just state that you can basically turn any cyber geared human into liquid. Like just fucking evaporate them even. Like just straight up ground beef. Anyways, plugging this into the breeded spectrum, I'll give it a high octane spine ripping 15 has to be this way. Out of 10, standing here, I realize. Well, thank you for watching if you did. I highly appreciate it. Shit. Built with Russia money to make Russia money. It is no plan for our cars. It is their prison. But now, they will be free! Damn. Crazy son of a bitch. Blyden? Blyden, what happened? Bastard blew himself up. I see. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Understood.